Do you want to know how to care about your knee pads to make them last the longest possible? I have several useful tips for you how to look after them. I suppose most of you use knee pads in volleyball and knee pads protect your knees. But how should you protect your knee pads to make them last long? I'll answer that in this video. Because I have for you simple tips and advice to help you keep your knee pads in good shape for a long time. Why should you trust my advice? We make knee pads at Volley Country. I've been using knee pads myself for many years in training and competitions around the world. Thousands of people also wear our knee pads and are very happy with them. And I know pretty well how to take care of them. Most of male and female volleyball players use knee pads for games and trainings. Even the out volleyball players are often using them. Why are they so important? They protect your knees in at least two ways. They provide uh, protection during falls and you also won't get uh, burns uh, on your knees uh, from the ground. It's also important that uh, they keep your knees warm and help you to reduce the risk of knee injuries. One more reason why we use knee pads is fashion. We want to look good uh, during trainings and games. We try to match our knee pads color to the color of our jersey. So we look stylish and I have a video about reasons why and when you should choose black or white knee pads. In modern volleyball we need to improve our skills, uh, we need to spike stronger, receive better and of course we need to take more balls in defense. It's not only about direct attacks to our body, we need to take more balls around us, we need to die for difficult balls sometimes. And with knee pads uh, you don't have to think about uh, any damage uh, of your knee during uh, defense. Uh, you also need to keep your body warm and uh, knee pads are helping our knees uh, to be always uh, ready for next action. Simply knee pads are indispensable part of our volleyball uh, equipment. Uh, shoes, t-shirts, shorts, uh, socks and knee pads should always be in your training bag. And you need to take care of your stuff. Just like anything, uh, knee pads also have their lifespan, which you can increase by convenient use and care. That's why I have uh, for you these tips uh, how to look after your knee pads. Your knee pads don't get dry in a second after your practice or a game. Don't leave this task uh, for the last moment. Knee pads may take uh, up to 12 hours of drying at your home. Separate wet things uh, in your training bag. A plastic bag uh, where you to put uh, knee pads is enough. It can really stop uh, spreading uh, bacteria and the creation of a greater smell. After trainings and games, uh, don't leave your knee pads uh, in your bag. Let your knee pads uh, breathe. Turn your knee pads upside down and let them dry on air, but not on the floor. If it's possible, hang your knee pads uh, outside in the sun. Not only they will uh, dry faster, sun will also kill the bacteria which create the smell. If you can't hang your knee pads outside, hang them near the window or in a warm and dry room. Never put them in a wet bathroom. Don't leave your knee pads on a hot heating. The heat uh, can damage uh, the shape and material of the knee pads. Regarding how often you use your knee pads, uh, you can also wash them with regular clothes. Dry them completely before you put them uh, back uh, in your training bag. If you train several times a week, uh, get uh, two pairs of uh, knee pads. Alternate them so that you always have uh, dry knee pads uh, for training. You won't feel comfortable in uh, wet knee pads. So these are my simple tips how to look after your knee pads. Uh, and I hope uh, this advice will help you and your knee pads will last longer. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.